Well, happening right now, a live look at the Senate floor. Senators hashing out how the impeachment trial of President Trump is going to play out. This is House Manager Adam Schiff speaking right now, burning the midnight oil out there. This is not a game. They're going to be there as long as they need to. They have been allied guys since early this afternoon. The debates will go on for a few days, long into the night, as you see. Our Ryan Kruger is following the very latest developments for us tonight. President Trump is officially on trial, but what does it mean for our country? We're answering questions you might have about this historic trial. What role will Georgia play? Senators David Perdue and Kelly Leffler will each act as jurors, and both have said they plan to side with the president. Republican Congressman Doug Collins of Gainesville was just named as one of President Trump's impeachment advisors. I spoke with him over the phone. We're excited to be a part, as we have been you know, already, and, and making sure that uh, this is hopefully put to bed very quickly. Will we see new evidence? Democrats want to bring in evidence they say is related to military aid to Ukraine. Republicans, in a surprise change Tuesday, agreed that documents from the House will be put into evidence. And all of that leads up to one of the most contentious arguments. Will we get to hear from any witnesses? Democrats want to call four witnesses, including former National Security Advisor John Bolton. Republicans say witnesses won't be necessary, but there won't be a vote until after opening arguments. All right, so you guys have a lot of questions about this, and we are where Atlanta speaks. We want to answer your questions and make sure we're really clear on how this thing is going to play out, timelines and all, and especially getting some social media reaction to the questions that you guys have. Join now with Ryan Kruger and Atisha Lance on this one. Now, Ryan, you follow up this the closest for us today as far as the nuts and bolts of this story. Right. You know, and one thing that's interesting, it's really not clear how long this trial is going to last. Some people have said it might end next week, might take a couple weeks. Here's why it's worth pointing out. Two weeks from tonight, President Trump scheduled to deliver his State of the Union. Mm -hmm. You know, 21 years ago, back in the 90s, the same thing happened with uh, Bill Clinton. He still gave his State of the Union address, uh, but certainly this cloud was hanging over him, no doubt. <laughs> Show must go on. He's right, in Switzerland exactly. right yeah. now. He still has to keep doing his job, right? But people online are saying, wait, how is this all going to go down? This is a lot going on, and he's still the sitting president. Yeah, of course. And back then, we didn't have... Twitter back right. then, so yeah. people weren't weighing in the way that they are now. So impeachment trial, also a huge trending topic on Twitter tonight. So take a look at just some of these. Of course, coming from President Trump, he tweeted from Switzerland from the World Economic Forum. He wrote, quote, read the transcripts, and that was in all caps. So that is, of course, in reference to the July phone calls with Ukraine's president. Also, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is calling it a GOP Cover up. She tweeted President Trump abused his power for personal and political gain. Now, both, both political parties are also tweeting what is going on on that floor tonight, as we, show you we showed you video earlier of that. The Democrats are pushing for witnesses tonight, and the Republican Party is attacking impeachment manager Adam Schiff, saying he ran an unfair process. And we just saw Adam Schiff on the floor right now mm -hmm. speaking there. Thanks so much to Ryan and Atisha. Make 11alive.com your home for politics. We're going to keep you covered from every angle, you can stream the impeachment trial right on our website.